Could be Gilman. Could be Hebert. Could be Bowley. We'll see. Left Kotova, Lagunova, Sapu, Sop Sapova, and Stoyer. Your reigning gold medalist. They say we ain't scared. We ready. Both teams coming in once again, 3-0. Undefeated. This is the one that we've been waiting on. We'll see who's the real deal or not in this one. It'll be the biggest test for either team as the reigning MVP is the last to hit the court. And Russia's going to have to bring their best against this young USA team filled with college stars from Oregon. I can't wait. There's Ionescu, Sabrina Onescu. Ionescu out of, again, Oregon. The highly decorated guard comes into this one. Uh, ready to play, to say the least. This Team USA has just been dominant. A couple of gold medals, three appearances. Left Koftova, the reigning gold medalist from a year ago. Second on the team in scoring so far here through pool play. And here we go. Yonescu on the move like the lease is up. Misses the crib right at the rim there. Lagunov is going to track it down. Stoyer over to left Koftova. She's working on Hebert. Goes up over the top. Tough score right there. Yonescu. Romanian born guard. Repping Team USA. Misses the shot. So Lagunova working on Boli. Uh, good defense there. She's got a couple of inches on Boli. Boli not afraid to mix it up down there on the block. Look at our first score of the game. Left Koftiva going up with the right. Gildan trying to get some space. Space the court. Ionescu couldn't get it to go down. Ionescu thought about shooting the two. She's going to back up. She's got a mismatch here. A couple of mismatches. Hebert, have some of that. One apiece. Lagunova. Missed point blank range. So Team USA is going to clear it. They have not really been challenged. Neither one of these teams has really been challenged to this point. Nice pass. Oh, Gilding couldn't finish it off at first. And then she's blocked. Lagunova, talk to the hand. Yonescu. Bottoms. 3-1, Team USA. Left Koftiva. Working on Gilding. The spin left Koftiva. Oh, the spin in the wind. Got to her spot. And made that one look easy. So a 3-2 game as both teams trading buckets left Koftova. Beautiful spin move. They call that Maganda here in the Philippines. Boli going baseline. Gildan has it. She's going to take it herself. Working on Sapova. Boli. Oh, puts her head down. And she's got the scoop like a star reporter. It's a two-point game. Stoyer. Sapova, leading scorer for this Russian team here through pool play. Stoyer misses the crib. Boley confiscates the rebound. That'll be a shot clock violation to it'll go over Team USA in any case. Team USA with a, another easy victory. Three and zero. Oh, oh, Yonescu, oh, nice, nice fake. Team USA started their day with a with a win over Uganda. Russia began their day with a win over Iran to move both teams to three and zero. Team USA, I believe, now has a twenty-five and. 
25 and two record at the World Cup all time. That's just ridiculous. Oh, get your weight up, Lagunova. Gildan. Doing some chin ups, push ups, something. Got some extra protein this morning. Sapova couldn't hit it. Ionescu thought better of it, decided to step out behind the arc. This is the matchup right here. Ionescu working on the reigning gold medal MVP. And nothing happening on that possession. Being tested. And Ionescu here in her 2018 3x3 World Cup debut. Another look at the pass in there. If Koftova up fake, scores it. Team USA with a two-point advantage as it's five to three. Three fouls on Russia, and Gildan continuing to do her thing. Stoyer creates some contact, or creates some separation there. Lagunova harassed by Gildan. Stoyer up fake, nowhere to go. She gets it to Lagunova. Lagunova, oh, turn around, nice touch. Ah, kisses it off the glass, and it's six to four. Ionescu swings it over, Gildan open, just sees it rattle off the front of the rim. Left Kovtiva leaves that one short too. Stoyer. He can, can taste the leather. And maybe a little bit of a frustration foul on Hebert underneath after the last splash from Team Russia. And Stoyer was almost out of bounds. She hit that one from Moscow. Shout out to uh, Shay Serrano from the winger. Uh, we'll get you that signed uh, UNESCO jersey. Don't you worry about it. The voice has got you taken care of. All right? That's, I got that kind of juice, all right? That T-shirt coming your way. How about for Team USA? Make some noise for Team USA. Six up. One foul on Team USA. Three on Russia. We had this one circled on the calendar, headed into this final day of pool play. This is the fourth and final day. Levkovtseva, the patience underneath, and Russia back out front by one. This is exactly what you would expect out of two teams with talent like this. Ionescu pull up off the front of the rim. Ionescu, Ionescu gets it back and scores it. Held an NCAA record with 10 triple doubles for her career, by the way. Uh, left Koftova, tried to pump fake again, and then there's the foul. Hebert jumps right back up. Hebert, the tallest uh, player on the women's side. She's been using that size to her advantage, I would say. Also the leading rebounder for Oregon this past year. Nine per game, 17 points per game, too, so she can go. Seven apiece. Bowley couldn't put it in the holy. Ionescu, nice little drop off dime to Gildan who gets it to go. Left Koftova almost got her cookies took. Ionescu's like, what? Yeah, foul. Foul number two on Team United States. I'm gonna show some love to our official suppliers. Sport Court, Sheldy Sports, Magic Sky. Oh, mismatch here. Mouse in the house. Lagunova. That's good eating. Now she's on now she's on an island. Let's see. Oh, Yonescu. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sapova misses. It's a one-point lead for Team USA. Yonescu misses it. And I believe that's gonna be out of bounds off of Russia. 
Good uh, sportsmanship from Boley helping uh, Sapova up. She won't be playing as friendly on this possession, so she helped her up, but you better believe she's going to try to give her that work. So here we go. Boley, uh, pump fake, going baseline, composes herself but misses the shot, but out hustles Lagunova. Ionescu, good idea on the pass attempt, but couldn't get it down low to Hebert. So tipped out of bounds, nine seconds on the shot clock for the red, white, and blue. Ionescu, Hezzy, step through. Take that with you, MVP. She says, I'm, I'm Pac-12 Player of the Year for a reason. First team All-American, going old school, up and under. Turn on the Isley Brothers or something. You run that highlight back. Yonescu hits it. Three-point game. Lagunova turn around, misses it. Front rim, but picks up a foul. Draws a foul, I should say, on the play. That's foul number three on Team USA, who hold on to a three-point advantage. Just over four minutes left in this one. And this will decide who will be the top team coming out of the pool. Both of these squads, again, will be moving on to the quarterfinal rounds. That is a lot. You start to pool play 3-0. You know, that's kind of the way it goes down. It is a two-point game. And six fouls now on Russia, so no more to give. They'll be in the penalty. Anytime Team USA is on the court, it's always going to be a big bullseye on their back. You know. They are the, the bar when it comes to basketball. And I don't think I'm off, off target saying that. I know for sure Yonescu ain't off target. Two piece, no biscuit. And USA up by four. Yonescu, no choice but to foul there. Lagunova, just too much. But another look, nice screen set by Hebert. Step back from Yonescu. Bottoms. Then the work here, the step through and the scoop de doo And another ball fake and another difficult, high degree of difficulty shot. And she's the queen bee on this United States team as she was the queen bee for the Oregon Ducks. But again, a well-rounded Team USA squad. Bowley at 6'2", got some size, got a wetter. Hebert at 6'4". Controlling the glass, Gildan, versatile, lone senior on the team. Testing the reigning champions, the reigning gold medalist from 2017, Sapova. To the right, to the right. Misses it. Y'all know y'all like my sister. Yonescu dying. Uh, that was tasty. And Team USA out to a five-point lead, Sapova. Takes two right back, and it's a three-point game. So here we go. Back, back, fourth and fourth. Wetter, 16-11. This thing swinging back and forth like a pendulum. Oh, Yonescu. Baseline, over to Bowley, up fake. Almost has it stripped away, left comfortable. But Bowley stays with it and scores it. And look, Team USA, six-point advantage. Three minutes left in this game. Lagunova, long one to two. Yonescu, oh, oh, she's in her bag. Oh, she's in her bag. Not even Drake could control her, control her. Oh, they just, what can you do with that? You hack her, she still scores. She hitting you with the hezzy. Oh, Yonescu came to play. You can, you can see how she was able to, you know, compile those 10 triple doubles and lead uh, the Ducks in scoring and take home the 3x3 National Championship MVP. And she, 
She got game. Although she just gets dropped off like the first day of school. Stoyer with the two ball corner pocket. It's 20 to 13. Game point for Team USA. Uh uh. Step back. Ooh. Just missed it. But Gildan, oh, she missed it as well. That would have been game. Two and a half to play in this one. And for, for those of you who are wondering if Team USA, what a real deal, they are not GMO. 13 seed, my foot. Out of bounds challenge. So we'll see who gets the rock. But you see that youth, that extra energy from this Team USA squad. Again, they got three 20 years, 20 year olds, and a 21 year old. Russia, the, obviously the more experienced team, but look, experience doesn't always equate to wins, right? Yeah. So Sapo Vaan, 34 year old, the youngest member of the Russian team is Alexandra Stoyer at 25. So we'll see who ends up with the rock. In any case, Team USA is going to have an opportunity to win this and take the number one spot. Sapova couldn't make the shot. She wanted a foul. Arguing with the referees is uh, not going to help your cause. Might want to focus on stopping this USA team from ending this thing. Hebert trying to get it to Ionescu. Store your honor. Uh, stop, go. Floater missed. Good D there by Stoyer. Left Koftova, high arcing two. And it's Kevin Hart. Short. Just over two bucks left in this one. Kyle Montgomery in your ear, have no fear. Follow your boy on IG, at 3x3 The Voice. And you better keep an eye on Team USA out here in Manila as they will wrap up pool play 4-0 and undefeated. Gilding, get you some of that. 21-13. I had this one circled as the game of the day. This was a one-sided affair. This was the Drake Pusha T beef. Uh, eight point W for Team USA. And Russia gets no revenge from that 2014 loss in the gold medal game. As Yonescu and company take care of business. Look back at how it went down. First uh, four minutes or so, we're seeing both squads tr trade possessions. Bowley with some tough, you talking about some tough scores in this game. I, credit to both teams. You know, contested shots, falling away layups, deep twos like that one from Stoyer. But this, uh, this United States team has it all. They got a little bit of everything. They got a little grit, grind to them. They got finesse. Dripping in finesse. You saw on the shot right there. It don't make no sense. Uh, Gildan, meantime, ending the game as Russia suffers their first loss of the tournament. And they'll go in as the number two team out of, uh, out of Pool C for the women at three and